What is up everybody? We are back. It is kind of late at night right now and my fiance is putting my daughter to bed. So I'm out here in the garage to do the video. And I was watching some of my old videos back and I'm always trying to portray my best self forward, which is obviously good. But in YouTube world, I really feel like I need to be more authentic. I need to just let myself be myself, even if that day isn't my best self getting put forward because I think authenticity is what's going to help my channel grow and have people connect with me. So that's what I'm going to start doing and I hope you guys still enjoy the content. Still dealing with the ulnar nerve transposition. The hand is feeling really good but I hit a little bit of a wall with the elbow. I um, think I worked a little bit too hard on it at work. I was trying to paint some baseboard because the paintbrush is really light and I was feeling really good. For the most part, I painted with my left hand, but um, at the end of the day, I came home and I was putting some heat on my elbow. And after my elbow, I put the heat wrap on my hand and I bent my hand up for some reason with the heat pad on it. And I felt just like a pop almost like my tricep was popping over my medial epicondyle there, um, which I found out is a symptom of snapping tricep syndrome, which I didn't realize that I dealt with, but it's something that used to go on when I was dealing with the ulnar nerve pain um, a lot, actually. It would happen when it would be inflamed. Um, I, the most recent time I remember it was back when I was working out real hard and I would do curls it snapped two, three times that day and I had to stop working out. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like started to come back or, or it, it happened again and it hurt so, so bad because right on that medial epicondyle is where they um, detached the flexor tendon to put the nerve through. So it really scared me. I, um, I called my surgeon today. Um, I told him I have to see you Monday anyway, but if you're going to want imaging, let's Let's do it now. I have health insurance. Let's get the imaging, make sure everything's okay. If it is just a snapping tricep, I'm not going to really worry about it too much. It's not something that's going to, you know, cause a ton of damage. It's just really uncomfortable. So I'll try to modify my movements so I don't let that happen. But man, it really, really sucked. It really got me down and, and depressed and in my feelings about everything because I was feeling really, really good and I felt like, you know, all this, this hell I'd been in was, was behind me and um, in that one moment, it kind of triggered my OCD a little bit and I started obsessing about it. Did I snap something? Did I, you know, mess this surgery up? Am I going to have to go through another surgery and, you know, really was just feeling sorry for myself for a while and um, I just wanted to talk about that on here because... When you go through something like that or really you know anything in life you go through it's hard to always look on the bright side and luckily i have a, a wonderful fiance who i don't know how she puts up with me but she does um kind of talked me down last night and helped me to start feeling a little bit better and today i got the appointment for the mri um, just waiting for them to call and confirm so We'll get it all checked out. It's probably nothing, but um, I'm a little bit sore and stiff. Put it back in a sling today for the first time in like two weeks. So that sucked too. But um, overall, I, I still feel like I'm in good shape. I feel like the surgery um, was a good thing. And I feel like I'll get through whatever this little wall that I hit it ha is. And um, I'll make a full recovery. So that's kind of what's going on with me. Uh, my employee is really stepping his game up at a time when I really need it. So I'm super appreciative for him. I've got some big things coming in the future. And like when this uh, elbow thing is going on, I'm feeling like, man, I, I built such a good business with a good reputation. And, and now look at me, but I have some good people on my side. We can always hire people and um, keep the ball rolling. So want to jump on here, be a little bit more authentic, um, and just let you guys know really how it's going. I'm going to start to be more authentic in these videos and just kind of let you guys know everything. I, I, I am pretty authentic, but I think I've tried to be a little too cookie cutter, um, and I'm just going to be myself a little bit more. So I appreciate all of you more than you know. 
Thank you all for watching my videos. Like this video so other people can find it. Leave me a comment if you ever had an ulnar nerve transposition or you deal with snapping tricep syndrome. So help me out a little bit. Thank you guys.